welcome you to our awards assembly this afternoon, and we are going to take some time to recognize many of the wonderful things that you do every day. Some of you may be recognized for your grades, and others are going to be recognized for your attendance, but I want everyone to make sure that you have good, respectful behavior and make sure that you are quiet and we will hold our applause and we will applause at the very end of each group that's recognized. We're gonna begin first with students that have perfect attendance. In preschool, Bison Carroll, Sophia Runnels, Reagan Wood, Elena White, and Cade Anderson. give our preschool students some congratulations. All right, we are very proud of you. In kindergarten, we would like the following students to come forward for perfect attendance. Kaylee Bryant, Aubrey Carroll, Kylie Goodman, Curtis Hendricks, Katherine Jorgensen, Cheyenne Logsdon, Brylin Monroe, and Samuel Williams. Congratulations. First graders that have perfect attendance, Kinsley Anderson, Cooper Androsky, Madeline Chenault, Peyton Emery, Kenley Fulkerson, and Zeta Wolf. with perfect attendance, Javen Adams, Madeline Blinko, Elijah Jorgensen, Haley Logsdon, Carson Polston, Aiden Reynolds, Graydon Runnels, Theron Street, Jackson Thomas, Madison Vertrice, and Savannah Yates. Our third graders that had perfect attendance, Jordan Ammons, Ransom Carter, Annabelle Davis, Hayden Glass, Lucas Griffith, Laurel Highball, Jaden Hornback, David Huntsman, Aiden Keller, Brooke Lynch, and Addison Neese. Congratulations. 
last group with perfect attendance are our fifth graders, Jaden Schaefer, Logan Shearer, Cheyenne Vandersluis, and Abigail Williams. Great job. Boys and girls, having perfect attendance is so important because when you are here at school every day, you are here learning, and that's where we want to have you. Um, so while we're talking about perfect attendance, right up here we have two of the six bikes that will be given away this semester for students that have perfect attendance. So we will be giving away bikes um, there will be a drawing at the end of the third quarter for any student um, that has had perfect attendance. Their name will be entered into the drawing and we'll give a girl's bike away and a boy's bike. And then we will do the same thing at the very end of the fourth quarter at our final awards assembly. So these bikes are really great. We have them parked up in the foyer, so make sure you stop and take a look at them. But it's a great incentive to be at school every day. Okay, great job, boys and girls. At this time, we're going to recognize our honor roll students. And our honor roll students will receive a certificate and a pencil from Ms. Jones or Ms. Weaver. So when I call your name, we're going to start with fourth grade first. We're going to start with all A honor roll for fourth grade. Out of Ms. Dennis's class, we've got Maya Jorgensen, Allison Lambert, Ava Walker, out of Ms. Wilcox's class, Isabel Hayes. And out of Ms. Fry's class, Hannah Black, Riley McGregor, and Tyler Underwood. So let's give our fourth grade students with all A on a roll a round of applause. Great job, okay? Then we'll move on to our A, B on a roll. And when you come to the front, Ms. Bronner's kind of situated here in the middle. She's taking a picture from Ms. Langley. When she waves at you, you'll know it's all clear to walk back to your seat, okay? So A, B on a roll out of Ms. Dennis's class. Casey Collins. Peyton Fry, Leanna Green, Cameron Hill, Chaz Jones, Amber Lewis, Cash Longoria, Alex Meredith, and Jack Toms. That's Miss Tennis. We're going to move on to Ms. Fry's class, Rosalind Arts, Houston Bauckham, Brandon Blankenship, Maddie Clan, Shiloh Dalton, Brooklyn Dillard, Blake Fulkerson, Christopher Caderas, Jessica Maserato, Rebecca McCain, Addie McMichael, Devin Morris, Will Richardson, Diesel Roten, Addison Sego. Robert Varenhold, and then we'll move on to Miss Wilcox's AB. Chloe Grace Hankins, Julianne Brindle, Joshua King, Ashton Conkle Clark, Abby Strain and Danica Street.
These are our fourth grade students with AB Honor Roll. Let's give them a big round of applause. Okay, hey, great job. Walk back to your seat, please. Okay, we're going to move on to fifth grade. We're going to start out with all A honor roll for our fifth grade. Out of Miss Williams's class, Thatcher Edlin. Miss Hallett's classroom, Kaylee Bunch. Lily Pretty. Out of Miss Wyatt's classroom, Gracie Blair, Brady Copeland, Sadie Hess, Devin Hubbard, Harper Jones, Jody Logston, and Leah Riggs. These are our fifth grade students, second nine weeks, all A on a roll. Let's give them a big round of applause. Okay, while they're making their way back to their seat, we will start um, with our A, B on a roll out of Mr. Bradley's classroom. Brian Bailey. Addie Barnes. Darius Bennett. Haley Cobb. Caleb Downs. Mason Durham. Colin Fulkerson, Gage Girdley, Weston Huff, Jamie Lynn Jarnigan, Derek Outland. Miss Williams' class, AB on a roll. Haley Clark, Katie Fulkerson, McKeelan Howe, Noah Rock, James Rucker, Madeline Tharp, Cheyenne Vanderslice. Miss Hallett's AB on a roll, Brooklyn Allen, Gage Gass, Braden Gray, Delilah Lamb, Cody Merchant, Olivia Miles, Logan Minter, Minter, Logan, Logan Minter, Lexi Patterson, Jaden Schaefer, Abigail Williams. Miss Wyatt's homeroom. AB on a roll, Alexander Crane. Stephen Cadaris. Tab. 
Abby Riggs and Olivia Salee. These are our fifth grade students with A.B. Honor Roll. Let's give them a round of applause. Wait just a second, Ms. Bonner's getting pictures. All right, boys and girls, the next award we will be giving out um, is our work ethic. Again, Ms. Atcher says this every time we talk about work ethic and guidance. I know your teachers teach work ethic in the classroom. Um, and some of you may not have been standing down here for attendance or for honor roll, but a lot of you have excellent work ethic, which I've always told you, regardless if you're a standout athlete, a scholar, a great artist, if you work hard and you're at school each and every day, you're going to be successful, okay? So this award is very important. Um, as you get older and go on to middle and high school, they'll really push the work ethic certification as well. So the teachers have chosen one, and you know what, boys and girls, this time, listen carefully, this time I even had a couple teachers that could not choose because their students were so amazing, which is a good problem to have. So I had a few teachers who gave me two students. Okay, um, and teachers, if you have a hard time picking, um, you know, obviously we give those awards. If you have two students that excel, by all means, we want to recognize them. So that's a great problem to have, but I'm going to announce the names and then I'm going to um, tell you why they received the work ethic um, award this for second nine weeks. So those of you who may not receive it, listen to what the teachers had to say about these students so that you can work hard next nine weeks and hopefully possibly receive this award, okay? So we're gonna start with preschool and we're gonna start with Miss Sam's class. Miss Sam had two students. The first student is Kennedy Black. Kennedy always comes to school, is she here? and she's not here, always comes to school ready to learn. She participates in all of our activities and made, has made huge gains in identifying her uppercase letters we are very proud of Kennedy, so we'll make sure she gets that award. The other student is Alana, ba Alana Butler. Alana may be very quiet. Is Alana here? Oh, okay. She's very quiet, but she has the best personality. She also always participates during our activities. She's a great friend to her peers in her class and has really worked hard at writing her name. We are very proud of Alana. Miss Chelsea's, Miss Chelsea's class is Elena White. Elena works hard. She's here with a smile on her face each and every day. And Joshua. Miss Chelsea had two this time as well. Mr. Joshua, can you come on forward? Joshua always comes to school. He works hard and does his best on everything he does. Good job, Joshua. We're going to move right along. Lena and Joshua, if you'll just stand right there. Miss um, Knight's class, Xavier Hunt. Xavier exhibits wonderful work ethic. He goes above and beyond on his work and knows list A, B, and C sight words. He always has a smile on his face and is willing to help in any way. Miss Vance, kindergarten, Maisie Fulkerson. Maisie shows outstanding work ethic by doing her best every day. Her work is always neat, completed on time, and it, it includes extra sentences or additional work that she has done on her own. Miss Milby, kindergarten, Andrea Peters. Andrea shows responsibility 
by keeping up with her materials and turning in her homework each week. She is always kind to others. Miss Cruz, first grade, Donovan Daniel. Donovan looks for opportunities to help out in the classroom each and every day. He completes his work on time and puts forth his best effort. Donovan is kind to others and is a great leader to all of his friends. Miss Becky Riley's first grade, Kenley Fulkerson. Kenley displays leadership in the classroom every day by helping others, working hard, following the rules, and being a great example of a true role model to her classmates. Mrs. Huff, first grade, Emerson Buckles. Emerson is a great leader in the classroom. She met both of her map goals for the winter, and she is also the first first grader to master all addition and subtraction facts. Miss Gore, second grade, and Miss Gore had two students this time. Caleb Slee. Caleb puts forth his best effort every day. He stays with the task until it is finished and works very hard. And her second student, was Addison Dick. Addison attempts every assignment with a good attitude. She works hard, she never complains, and gives her best every day. Miss Bach, second grade, Jake Woolsey. Jake puts a tremendous amount of effort into all of his work. Because of this, he has made gains in both reading and math. Mrs. Highball, second grade class, Adeline Reynolds. Adeline always turns in her homework on time and completes all class assignments in a timely manner. She always is willing to help her classmates or Ms. Highball whenever needed. Miss Jaggers, third grade, Addison Garland. Addison always goes above and beyond to challenge herself with her work. Anything extra that I give, she completes it with 110% effort. Mrs. Copeland, third grade, Colton Jordan. Colton works hard on every assignment. He likes to help other students and he has neat handwriting. He always strives to be better. Mrs. Anderson, third grade, Demi Dordery. Demi has worked extremely hard in math and therefore increased her math score by 30 points. Mrs. Fry, fourth grade, Shiloh Dalton. Shiloh is a hardworking student who strives to do his best in all that he does. He maintains a positive attitude and perseveres through challenges. That was our guidance work last week, persevere. Miss Wilcox, fourth grade, Aurora Miller. Aurora always works hard in class giving 110% effort. She increased both reading and math map scores by at least 10 points meeting both goals. Mrs. Dennis, Maya Jorgensen. Maya has an amazing work ethic. She is, she is reliable, dependable, and dedicated to the task. Miss Hallett, fifth grade, Tristan Davenport. And he's not here, but we're still going to talk about him for a minute. Tristan has been working extremely hard by asking questions and trying his best to complete all assignments correctly. Mr. Bradley, Derek Outland. 
Derek does a great job working hard in math class each day. Mrs. Wyatt, Devin Hubbard. Devin deserves the, work, deserves the work ethic award because he is always attentive in class, asks questions that ensure he will understand, and even works on extra work outside of class time. This is Ms. Williams' fifth grade, Haley Clark. Haley is a quiet leader in our classroom whose work ethic makes her stand out among her peers. When she finishes a task, she is already, always ready to use her time wisely and efficiently. She has an internal drive to do well and get things done. She absent. Okay. Mr. Bronner for PE, Walter Lowe. Walter works really hard all the time in the gym no matter what we're doing and never complains about anything. Walter is always willing to work and help others with a positive attitude. Walter is demonstrating what it means to be a yellow brick student. Miss Bronner, Art, Jody Logston. Jody is such a hard worker. He demonstrates fantastic listening skills, shows kindness to everyone, and is an outstanding role model for those in the art classroom. And Miss Aldridge um, has actually two students with work ethic as well. The first student is Ashton Conkle Clark. Ashton worked very hard on learning lines and expressions to act his part in the winter show. He had the largest part and did a wonderful job. He also was a great leader during our rehearsals as well. And the second student is Peyton Fry. Peyton worked very hard on her featured vocal piece and jumped in to save the day to learn a large part of the script in one night. Acting as last minute understudy, she did a wonderful job in showing how that hard work and determination can achieve goals. So boys and girls, these are our second nine-week students who received the Work Ethic Award. Let's give them a big round of applause. Okay. Uh, Ms. Dennis, um, she is actually one of the coaches for our academic team, and she has asked that I recognize a group of students um, who were part of the Wiz Kids this year for our school. So we'll hold our applause to the end. She, you're going to get a certificate, and then you're also going to get your nameplate that they put in front of you when you were at um, HCE TV for the Wiz Kid matches, okay? So we're going to start. We have Gracie Blair. Connor Dupin. You all can just quietly come to the floor. Ava Walker. Stephen Caderas. Alex Meredith. Chaz Jones. Brady Copeland. And Jack Toms. Boys and girls, those of you who are in the younger grades, not sure what Wiz Kids is, um, these are a group of students. They stay after school throughout the week, um, each week, and they practice questions. Um, they can be questions related to social studies, language arts, math, and then they actually go to HTTV and they compete against another school. They have a buzzer system and they try to beat the other school in answering questions. So they put a lot of time and energy and effort into that, so we want to recognize them. And again, we want to thank Ms. Dennis as well for working with them. So let's give them a big round of applause. We try to recognize you all each nine weeks because some nine weeks may be better than others, okay? So if you are not one of the students standing up here this nine weeks and you're like, man, 
I'd really like to be up there and someone recognize me, then that's going to motivate you this nine weeks to be at school for attendance, work hard in the classroom, or show outstanding work ethic. Okay, so that's a challenge to you all. So at this time, that concludes our second nine weeks awards.